So, I uh, think I was like 18, 17, 18, and I just got into uh, LaSalle, like back then when I first went in. Uh, so, being enthusiastic about art, and I loved all those uh, street art back then that you used to draw. So, uh, another influence of hip hop, and uh, I used to mingle around with a few boys from various crews back then. Uh, so basically, like back then, there was mainly two crews, uh, which is OAC and ZNC. So when I was mingling around with them, like I didn't used to start with spray cans and stuff. Like I started with actually uh, Battle MC, and then went into a little bit of Crafty, learned some mm -hmm. stuff from those guys, mm -hmm. and way ahead, like after nine years, mm -hmm. then I'm going back to this all over again. My inspirations for my paintings or my artworks actually they come about like very positive vibes that happen around me and also with they take on a very positive nature but uh, the causes and everything it's basically what happens in my environment hmm. uh, could be anything from social society wise to environment wise like it could be like uh, you know like how they are removing nature sanctuaries and all to build, bring in buildings and I see all these other wild animals like sometimes like flying around or like you know away from their homes and they can't find their way so those kind of things kind of like motivate me to bring about so I find like a story and from a story it blooms into artworks Um, is it fair to say that it would be actually two? I mean, besides the artwork I did for my degree, I mean, that was just crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're talking about something that's gonna like stick in my head forever, it will be uh, two things, two, two murals I did. One was for the biggest one, uh, biggest project was the Eastern and Oriental Express. So I did that for Belmont. And uh, after that was this uh, a new bar that opened up at Amoy Street called Native. I did their entire wall for them that ranges from the first floor up to the second floor on from the entrance. And I love both of them. So um, when I tried, I, I used to use uh, Molotov, the old ones, the premiums, and I love them, but because of my studio environment, uh, it's indoors and all that, somehow this happens to really uh, work for me. Like indoors, it doesn't smell atrocious or anything, it doesn't frustrate you, it, you don't have to like step out come back. Uh, the colors blend pretty well. I mean, I do wish there's a wider spectrum like how they have for the premium, but I guess that takes some time. And uh, the spray itself, 
like the colors as you can see like the vibrancy is great and if you want it to be translucent or not that's just based on your own technique and the pigments on this is like the richest I've ever come across compared to so many others that I've tried like since I was 18 years old.